We got one of the coolest Axial SEX-10-2s made today. It's called the Chevy Blazer. Stay tuned to find out more from RC Review. So here we go, we've had a few SEX 10-2s, the Dead Bolts and the CRC editions, and we were super intrigued by this one. Really affordable, 390 bucks, and just a drop-dead gorgeous body um, called a Chevy Blazer with a half-cab edition. Um, so they really put out all the stops on this one. Um, as you can see, give you a little angle here. It's got a nice, beautiful paint, uh, beautiful color. It's got a nice molded grill with uh, lenses for LEDs. And this bumper is nicely shaped. Uh, it's already got LEDs uh, wired in. And then it's got uh, wipers, door handles, mirrors. A lot of this is removable uh, in case you're gonna beat it up. Um, it's got some wheel, uh, wheel, wheel fenders. So, and then they, they, went, uh, they went half cab on it. Uh, so they put this nice cage, rear seat, driver, um, and then you know, quite, uh, quite a long overhang uh, on the rear to, to make it look scale. And these nice sliders uh, that are very modern looking tube style sliders that are not only attractive, but work really well as well. And then to finish it off, they have these method racing wheels, um, just, just, just plastic wheels. Uh, but nice look to them, and Falcon replica tires. There you go. Um, quite an amazing effort for the money. Um, so super impressed with it. And we've seen it run in the trail. We've, we've uh, we played it a little bit. Very good as well. So we're going we're gonna to go through a lot of testing with this one. We're going to compare it to a lot of our vehicles um, and, um, and keep you guys updated on how it performs. So um, those are the great things about it. Uh, the not so great things. Uh, about it are that uh, the rear of the vehicle is, um, so the front to the middle is awesome, but the rear is a little bit unfinished, unfinished business, so to speak. Uh, I think they just got, got a little tired um, where it's just stickers. Instead of putting lenses and uh, 3D molded parts, they just said, oh, we'll just put some, some stickers. Um, the, the bumpers uh, are good out of the box, but, but they are sticking out way too far. It's already a big body, so you always wanna push the bumpers as much as close as possible, but for some reason they are uh, at the farthest of their adjustability. So, but it's easy enough to change as long as the, the owner knows about it. The, um, the way it sits, it's a little bit tilted, um, uh, rear heavy, so that needs to be adjusted. It's not so easy to adjust here because it's already all bottomed out. You can make your rear stiffer, but we kind of like the, the softness of it. So I think we can change the mount here and, and adjust that. The, one of the really cool things about these LEDs is they're pre-wired and they're always wired, meaning you don't have to connect that crazy little connector every time you put, take the body off and on. And that's very inconvenient and you'll usually just pull it out and, and have the possibility of damaging it. So, uh, mad props for that one. The, the rear mount is cool because usually they stick out right here by the shock towers, but they took the effort to put them back and spread it out. And that's to support the long uh, body and triangulate it a little better. So it's gonna be more stable. So we love that. These uh, sliders are, are, are cool, they're pretty high. Uh, and they're functional, they're you know, nice, nice and slippery. So I think uh, it's gonna work real well. The, the gearbox, it's an all metal drivetrain. Um, centered metal here. Um, and it's got a lower uh, final drive ratio for less torque twist than the previous Axial SEX 10 2s. So this is kind of their latest generation. So it's a smooth operator, you know, when you're crawling on, on very technical trails. The, um, the, the steering is, 
is amazing. It's got a 150 ounce servo, which is uh, not, not great, but not too bad. And this, this, this vehicle is not that heavy, um, so it works well. And it's got some nice CBDs, so no need to upgrade because we got this at full articulation. So 45 degrees of steering angle. Um, traditional um, uh, 27, uh, what's it, 35, 35 turn motor. And then uh, their ESC with, with a uh, plug for light, so you can put lights uh, for sure on your headlamps over there. Um, plastic body shocks, not quite, not quite, um, not quite metal, but the suspension feels really good. This is the strength of Axial. You know, out of the box, it's always very supple, uh, soft and supple. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of what they aim to be. So it really performs well, good, good flex box stock. Uh, tires are not huge, but you know, but they're more scale, um, easy enough to uh, to uh, replace if uh, if you want something a little softer, a little bigger. Uh, oh, the plastic drive shafts, the only thing non-metal part of the of the drivetrain, but plastic works really well uh, in in this case. Um, and then the pumpkins are very small um, on, on this car. Um, and they're well supported. They have an arch up top to keep it from um, keep it from breaking. Very durable. They've gone with one piece uh, with molded mounts here. Some people complain they they want the two piece, three piece, but uh, this works really well. We're gonna slam the uh, the bumpers all the way in uh, to give this to give this guy a fighting chance. Uh, Run it with stock tires and run it with spec tires and then ultimate tires, so to speak. Uh, maybe lower the front a little bit so it doesn't doesn't sit uh, tail heavy. But super impressed uh, with this axle. Beautiful vehicle, affordable, and um, we'll see how it runs. Uh, we're gonna pit it against all all the rest of the other vehicles out there. So thanks a ton. Thank you.